Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is my Space Pirates and Zombies 2 playthrough, and I am your host, Vastima. Today, I'll be continuing my playthrough of Midmax Games Space Pirates and Zombies 2. It's an RPG slash strategy slash resource management slash shipbuilder with space combat and zombies. So, let's get to it. Last time around, we finished exploring the galaxy and we preyed upon our first lone captain, in a bid for experience, of course. Uh, as I mentioned then, our two goals are to get to level 10 to open up medium parts and get to level 12 to allow us to establish our own faction. So, with that in mind, whoops, wrong way... With that in mind, let's find somebody else to pick on. We will sort again by relations. Because we don't really want to piss off anybody that we're already... Sorry, I'll start again. We don't want to piss off anybody that already doesn't like us all that much. Uh, plainly... Plainly? Why the fuck did I say plainly? <laughs> Mainly... Because we don't want them putting a bounty on us, or at least we want to minimise the chance they'll put a bounty on us. Now, preferred targets are also below level 10. That way they won't have medium parts yet. A uh, highlighted one is a possible target. Uh, he is down to threat level 5, so the experience I would get from him would be minimal. Uh, however, by the time I get to him, because he is 59,000 units away, I don't know, what should I call that? 59,000 kilometres? I don't know. Um, so he is 59,000 spatial units away. In fact, no, it would not be kilometres, considering this is an entire galaxy. It's probably light years, actually. Um, okay. Okay. Let's get back to it. <laughs> so he's 59,000 units away, but by the time I get there, he should have repaired his ship, so he'll be worth more than he is now. Um, okay, so this guy is level 10, but he hasn't yet equipped any large parts, so that's another possibility as well. I could do that. He's 68,000 away... He's level 11 there, level... Yep. Okay, so... Not... Uh, oh, level 9. 120,000 away. Oh, he's one of the minus 40s. Okay, we'll go towards highlighted one. Uh, if he hasn't repaired his ship by then, we will reassess. Oh, I'm a bit gassy. Probably shouldn't have had that energy drink five minutes before I started recording. Uh-huh. Yes, we're going straight towards a pirate, which is really stupid. Let's go back to the faction screen and select highlighted one. Yes, we are getting closer to him. I love you. Oh, yes, to scrape straight past that pirate then. Yeah, they've all got plenty of strike craft. Uh, so I would prefer to... Continue to avoid them until I have sniper cannons, or preferably sniper cannons and pulses. Uh, oh, here he goes. I think he's going to repair now. So, we'll let him come out of this starbase. I haven't got anything in cargo. Have I? Hide equipped parts? No, I don't. So, mm, Actually, do we need any extra parts? You'd probably be able to tell me more. Um, Omni laser, Omni laser, Ionosaram, Ionosaram, shotgun, shotgun, Omni cannon, Omni cannon. So the only thing we really. Oh, damn, I still have to get a flat cannon in. I almost said sorcerer parts. What the hell? I'm not having a great recording session here. Sovereignty of science parts. So, we need a flat cannon. Uh, left wing flat cannon, sovereignty of science. Excellent. Did I get it right that time? I think I did. Okay, yes, there he goes. Um, let's... 
put my... Oh, great, he's up to level 10, and he's got a medium part. One medium part. That could be a pulsar, it could be a sniper cannon, could be anything. So you know what we do? We hit the quick save, and then we go chasing after him. God damn, stop burning all your res to get away from me. Excellent. Let us attack him. Yeah, me too. We live in the right galaxy for it. Crumbling on the edge of despair. What do we got? Okay, we're going to have to get in close. For my shotguns. There we go. Do a turn. Hey, this is working out pretty well. These shields are almost down. Oh, he's got missiles. That's not too bad. Okay, excellent. Shields are down. Let's blow off his nose. That will... Ooh, damn. I'm not doing too much damage to his health and armor, though. Let's back off a bit. Let's try not to run into that rock. Okay, now... Oh, yes, and you may have noticed that... There's a little highlight above him. It was the E key I was looking for. I could have swore I pressed every button, but obviously I didn't press the one right next to the W. Why is that not smashing? I, there we go. I need those shields. Right now. Need them right now. Come on. Oops. Yeah, it is. It's a happening, boy. Ah, oh, great. So, I am out of capacitor juice, but so is he. Looks like he is fleeing for the warp gate. Let's blow his engines off, because we don't want him doing that. Oh, come on, come on. We're just not doing enough damage. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Out of boost juice. Damn, come on! Blow him away! No, he's gonna get away! <sighs> Son of a bitch! Did we get anything from that no was that the large part that got blown off i'm not sure i don't believe it was well what a waste of fucking time that was he is almost destroyed he's got seven res left if i stick around to scavenge this there is nothing here to scavenge why are you bothering me exactly because you got away from me that's why i'm bothering you Come on, you should. Three, two, one. Gotcha. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You little prick. You ran away from me. I'm pissed. Oh, yes, it is. Don't you dare think you are getting towards that portal. Ooh, bang, 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 bang. Still got plenty of boost. Oh, actually, no, I don't have plenty of boost juice. But God damn. Oh, come on. This is getting ridiculous. Come on. Come on. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. Go fuck yourself. <sighs> now, I am officially annoyed. Why are you bothering me exactly? Uh, no. Well... I'm going to attack you and I'm going to destroy your ship because I'm now annoyed. Yes, it is. Oh, thank God. They started 
the warp gate with the warp gate close to me than to him this time. Excellent. Let's cut him off. Oh yeah, oh yeah, hit him with the iron so rams. Let's ram this bastard, there we go. Excellent. Come on, blow his engines off. Come on, come on. Do not lose him. Blow his engines off. Okay, yes. Finally, something works. Ah, you little prick. Bye bye, highlighted one. You prick. Look how close he was. Jesus Christ. I really got to uh, switch out those Omni Cannons for a part that... Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh, two parts. Okay, let's get a little closer, but not so close that that triggers. That is not what I'm looking for. That is what I'm looking for. Let's zoom out a bit. Let's pull this closer. Oh, level... Uh, level. Star... Two star core. And it's an engine, and I could have swore that was a hell of a lot closer. It was, but it has drew. Oh no, it was a nose, and it's right there. A missile. No, no, don't fucking take me away, you stupid thing. Oh, I'm swearing a lot this episode, aren't I? Sorry about that. Now I can't. Do a switcheroo in the middle of a battle, which is annoying because I would like to be able to just do a switcheroo. I guess I could pull off. No, I can't. I can't because I put them at the ends, which I shouldn't have done because I'm a moron. Okay, another two star part. Uh, so we got the engine, turkey neck engine, iron shotgun, not a part I use, but. Presuming they let me keep all this stuff. Yes, they have. I will be able to sell it. And what have we got here? Other than, of course, the highlighted one's body in its little cryo caskety thing. Oh, there's another core. He must have had a core on him. Interesting. Also, that's interesting too. Why is that pirate only threat level 10? He's only got 7 strike craft. Only seven strike craft, he says. Now, let's go to assemble ship and we will put that two star core in somewhere. And we will rectify the situation. <gasps> I love that. You can move the, the um, mother core part around now. You couldn't do that once upon a time. If you wanted the mother core in a different place, you had to strip the entire ship. Which, as you can probably imagine, was annoying as hell. Okay, there we go. In just in case I want to change out a core in battle, um, I can pull off the nose or the engine and slip it in. Now, we still need a Sovereignty of Science minigun. And we need to replace these two Omni Cannons. See, I know I didn't finish that sentence, but the reason why I didn't finish it was... I'm not sure if I want to even bother wasting time replacing the Omni Cannons because I'm going to need to stick in a large part soon anyway. And if I remember rightly, and don't quote me on this, but I'm fairly sh oh, I'm somewhat sure. Okay, I'm only 50-50% sure that you get another core at level 9. So again, don't quote me on it. Um, but I think you get another core at level 9 and then you get uh, medium parts at level 10. And boy am I going to have egg on my face if I am wrong about all of this. So anyway, let's go back to the star map. And I just remembered I can jettison that junk straight into space, can't I? I don't need to wait until I get back to a base. Bye bye junk. Now, okay, decisions, decisions. We got a rather nasty pirate over there. Got, oh God, 18 strike craft. Jesus. 
What is he? Is he? He's a chief. So hopefully he's just picking up wreckage, taking it back to the base, and building up his base so he can spawn more stuff. Um, so... Yep, he's just scavenging. Excellent. So I got myself another part, which I will take. And... I will sell it. At how much cash has this place got? Okay, it's got 18, 1800. And this has got 1400. I might as well go deeper into Sun Hunter space. Oh, first, I better uh, lower my engine speed. And let's try. Okay, we'll repair the ship as well. Uh, even though I've got plenty of goons, I just don't want to waste time lingering around if I don't have to. Uh, the drip feeder... Uh -huh. Well, you know what? The drip feeder um, has 180... Like, it goes from zero, zero um, to 180 on the left side. Um, so that is a bit better than Sun Hunter part. Maybe I should switch over the Sun Hunter part for now. And I'll sell that, since that is worth a heap of stuff. What I'll do first, of course, is switch over the Sun Hunter part. That way I can sell it all at once. What are you thinking, Vastima? You are a moron, and that's a missile part, so it doesn't matter what shape it is. And... Trade away. Trade, 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 trade. And we got ourselves some more cash. Decent goons, lots of cash, and yeah, lots of fuel as well. Experience wise, we didn't do great. Um, but it's better than nothing. What is this guy? Ooh, you know what? While I won't get full ex experience. Uh, for fighting him since I'll be helping this guy because I'll be helping this guy I'm guaranteed to win and I'm also guaranteed to get some experience so let us attack Jazzy Loco and even though he will hate me we want to join Cybermart excellent that'll put him in a good mood And here we go. I assume I lost both of my strike craft. Last battle, yes, of course I did. Well, not last battle, it would have been the battle before. Boom, 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 boom. Sideswipe him. Come on, blow off his engine. Come on, come on. Yay, he's gone. Ooh. Damn, took out my shields after he was beaten. Uh, you're welcome, Cybermart. Uh, that's an interesting language you've got there. Wow, look at all that green shit. Corrosive barrels that we blew up. Whoa, what have we got here? Let's switch to overhead view and zoom out a bit. I'll check out this wing before it drifts away. It is... A Sun Hunter right part Omni Laser, so it's unless it's got stars, which it hasn't. Oops, it is useless to us. Uh, on SRM. Okay, no, so no. And another wing. Ooh, two SRMs, which again I don't use because of the really short range. Um, Yes, I could, but why, the reason I went, ooh, is because it's a medium part. But, like I said, it's not something we want to use. So, let's bounce on out of here. And we'll take the core, because that's better than, I think we've still got one junk core. And they all like me. Ooh, look, very close to level 9 now. I wish I hadn't had to piss off somebody who was neutral, but experience is more important. 
Okay, there's the medium part. And an Omni Cannon. Okay, so let's go here. We got 2,000 scrap, which is very nice. Why is that coming up? Must have just had a tiny sliver of damage. So, that's one thing I haven't mentioned, have I? Joining factions. Okay, if anybody has any questions at all, remember to put them down in the comments because dollars to donuts, I have missed something, maybe even something important. Uh, in this case, it's factions. You can join any of the factions in the game, other than the zombies, of course, and other than the lone captains because it's not so much a faction as an absence of being in a faction. Um, so yeah, the factions have uh, the benefits you'd probably expect. If you're in a faction, um, others will come to your other members in the faction will come to your aid. If you are level 12, you can establish a star base and it will be a star base in the faction. Um, yeah, other than that, there isn't really all that much reason to join a faction. Uh, in fact, uh, there's some detrimental effects. If they get into a war, um, you get dragged along into the war, obviously. So mainly it is a matter of joining a faction to band together with other captains for your mutual self-preservation. Uh, other than that, I can't think of any actual benefits to being in a faction. That's why I... I never join one, I just stick it out until I get to level 12 and then I start my own. Um, yeah, yeah, I, that, that's pretty much it. Um, one thing about factions I should say, which is rather important for later once you are the head of a faction, is that your relationship with a faction, while somewhat determined... There goes my throat, joy. When I'm trying to explain something every single time. Your relationship with a faction, while it is somewhat determined by your relationship with all the members of the faction, uh, the highest... Uh, damn, my mind just went blank. The majority of the faction relation is determined by your relationship with the head of the faction. So... Even if half the faction members hate you, if you're on the good side of the faction leader, uh, you usually won't end up in a war with them. Um, of course, that won't stop all the other faction members from putting bounties on you. But that is neither here nor there, because right now we need to trade in some junk. And yet again, I forgot to double check if I want to put any of this stuff anywhere. Sun Hunter part? No. Because we've already got Sun Hunters at the front. Yep, the Omni Lasers. But we do want to install this Watch Spire in place of this Junk part. Because even though it doesn't have any stars, it is automatically better than a piece of junk. Now we will go to the trade screen and what do we got here? Torpedo, not bad. Of course, I'm still getting rid of it. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting rid of it. Uh, the Sun Hunter Omni Cannon. Now, if that was anybody, oh, actually, it's on the left anyway, so I've already replaced the uh, left Omni Cannon with a drip feeder. Um, yeah, double SRMs. Problem is, if I carry around a medium part with me, it's going to cost me uh, extra fuel as I burn around with it. And I'm only almost up to level 9. I'm not up to level 10. I'm not nearly up to level 10. God, I'm all over the place today. This is not... In fact, this is probably the worst recording I have had in ages. The worst recording session. That was what I was looking for. Recording session. Worst recording session in ages. Let's jettison that junk. And, you know, if I knew what was good for me, I would probably just trash this entire session, reload the save from the start, and start again. Before we go and find somebody else to pick on, though, we will look for that part for our arse end. A small 
Uh, it was left wing, wasn't it? Because I don't want to get the wrong side. Small left wing, sovereignty of science, toggle all weapons off, flat cannon. I'd have to custom order it for 2445 scrap, and guess what? No, I am not going to do that. Instead, we are going to either intervene in a battle that's already go gone on, going on, or, yeah, that one is already almost a term, uh, oh well, not really, but, how far away am I? Highly unlikely I'm going to get there in time. Brain in a jar versus a bandit chief, is that it? Yeah, bandit, oh, double bandits, okay. Level 8, threat 15, bandit chief, level 11, threat 31. Actually... Brain in a jar is probably going to lose that. Hmm. Damn pirates. Love and strike craft. Real junker. Hmm. Tell you what, can't wait until I'm at level 10 and I've got some large parts because then I can start trashing these pirates and these bastards are everywhere I filled the galaxy up with the little shits so once I can annihilate their strike craft in short order this game is going to become a lot more fun less running and hiding and more obliteration hmm let me just check the time actually Damn, already up to 26 minutes, and I've just been waffling on and chasing a guy that refused to die. Let us look at faction info, still sorted by relations. Wow, he really hates me. I did attack him, you know. Was it twice or three times? It was only the twice, wasn't it? Or did I have to char chase after him a third time? Yeah, it was three times, wasn't it? Surprised he doesn't hate me more. Okay, let's... Jazzy Loco. Oh, that's right. Yep, I fought against him with one of the yellow guys. Uh, any more? Level 9. Nope. Okay, looks like there's nobody to pick on unless some of these little level 11 guys... Whoa, 22 threat. Yeah, I won't be doing that yet. 10 threat. Okay. Large engine. Sorry, not large. Medium engine, medium nose, but no medium wings. Still, he could have anything on that nose and that engine, but threat 10? Ooh, I don't know. At least the design is interesting as hell. Look at that. Oh my god, that's a second engine over there. See, underneath the nose, how it's got the two mulch cores, uh, the mulch core on the right, that's an engine under it. Okay, that is definitely interesting. Ever since Synergy came in, most of the designs have been boring as hell. That's like the sort of design you'd expect to see on a zombie ship. Mr. Void, I want to see how you perform in combat. Ah, uh, he's been beaten. Which means by the time I get up there... He probably would have been repaired, and I'm going to get the shit kicked out of me. So, alternatively, let's find a fight that we can help somebody with. Let's reset my camera, go back up here. Um, yeah, there's no chance in hell I'm going to make it down here. In fact, yeah, there's already four uh, people fighting, and that's the maximum you can have in a single fight. So, instead, let us... Yeah, we're definitely not going to get that far. We'll move down here because... Uh, because... Oh, here we go. Wait a sec. Full burn, full burn. Yes. No. Who is fighting? It's another one of these black guys. Bandit chief. Why are all the bandit chiefs not black if that's the thing? What is the go with the black thing? Go ahead. 
Okay, let us join Terry in fighting the Bandit Chief with his 18 strike craft. Wow, this could end badly. Okay, we need... Oh, jeez, he's nearly dead. So that must be why he's black. It must be exactly the same as when we go dark. Okay, come on. If we can get... Whoa, don't shoot at our allies, you dumb, dumb battle wagon cannons. Excellent. He's nearly dead. If we can destroy him first, that way he won't keep pumping out strike craft. There we go. Let's get out of here. Oops, shields are down. And then we can deal with the strike craft that are already on the map. Oh, yes, I just ran into a rock. That happens on occasion. I'd swear there never used to be this many rocks in the earlier version of the game. Anybody who watched last season knows I was habitually running into rocks. It was... It was embarrassing how many rocks I ran into. And... Yeah, take this guy out. And he's gone. So, let's... Um... They must have... What happened there? Were they friendly missiles? Is that why? And also, they turned green because I must have accidentally hit them. Um, but all those missiles went past me and the flat cannons didn't open fire. So I assume they must have been friendly missiles. <gasps> Is that a level 3 core? That's a level 3 core. Holy shit. That pirate had good parts on him. That is rare very rare so what we'll do is let's grab that level three core move it towards us dump out my engine dump out the flak and move that here because we do not want to lose that part no matter what oh hook up battle's over don't stress me out. Uh, ah, that was sensitive. Okay, what do we got? We got a mulch core level 1. Which is better than some of the parts we've got, but I am not dicking around. <gasps> Defender pair. Two stars. Wow. Can't believe a pirate had those sorts of parts on him. What the fuck? Sorry, am I... Is everybody seeing what I'm seeing? Is that a four-star core at the start of the game? And this is pretty much the start of the game. You are usually getting one and two-star parts. Oh, my God. Boy, am I taking that. And boy, am I happy. Oh, here we go. Level nine. And I was absolutely wrong. No, you do not get another core at level nine. Oh my god, look at the choice. Strikecraft command points, scavenging, or trading. We've been doing a lot of trading, and since we're nearly up to level 10 and we'll have to buy more medium parts, well not more medium parts, we'll have to buy medium parts, we'll take trading. And because I helped out a yellow guy, all these guys like me, which will come in handy later on if I... Uh, start my faction anywhere near Sun Hunter land territory. Not land, this is space. Sun Hunter territory. Um, you can basically easily piss off other factions by taking over territories near them. Every time you do that, uh, you take a penalty with your relations with the leader. They don't like you and your little upstart faction becoming bigger and on top of their border, I mean. And I'm rambling yet again all over the place. Okay, so we didn't quite hit level 10. In fact, we're not anywhere near level 10, but we managed to grab some experience and we're well on our way. Unfortunately, having to chase that guy and fight him three times 
uh, meant that we didn't quite get everything done we would have liked to get done this episode. Before we go, let's go to Assemble Ship and just let's have a look at that four star core. I'm regretting not switching over that two star core now, but doesn't matter. Okay, this is a no star. This is a two star. Uh, that's a no star. That's a no. Okay, that's a three star. So what we want to do is we want to put the ones that we want to keep no matter what on the inside, which I should have thought of before. Uh, because that way, if we need to dump some cores after a battle, we want them closest to the end so we don't have to disconnect half the ship. Okay, all good. So I can sell them. And I think then we'll have to call it for this episode. Let's pop along down here. And I'm still doing a max burn, aren't I? Ooh. I took two scrap worth of damage. Let's just pay for that since it is such a minimal amount. And then we'll sell that and we can actually just sell that for for zero scrap. What sort of stuff we got here? Oh, that's the particle hose. That's basically like a space submachine gun. So that's an interesting weapon. And... Lots of missiles. I am tempted to just make a missile based design. But. Not yet. Oh, look at that. It's a pulsar. I really don't know what I'm going to get first. Pulses or sniper cannons. Probably sniper cannons because even though they've got a shorter range, they are extremely accurate. Extremely accurate which makes them great for destroying uh, extremely fast uh, strike craft. Now, with that done and me lowering the engine speed and one last check or oh, that was unexpected. That was really unexpected. Of course it doesn't matter because that's Four stars. Another four star part. You are kidding me. Jesus. I can almost afford that. I'm not getting it, but I can almost afford it. Well, either way, um, we're out of time for... Whoa, we're well out of time for this episode. I went way over by doing that extra battle. But before we go, let's just have a look at how the zombie territories have spread out. Oh, Jesus Christ. By the time I establish my faction, you're going to be everywhere. Well, this is what we wanted. I complained all last season that they weren't spreading out. And calm as a bitch, what can I say? Sadly, that's all I've got time for. Give me your thoughts down below and like and subscribe as you will. Until next time, take care of yourselves and most importantly, have a good one.